these boxes from the Dollar Tree along with this shovel and the ideas started flowing for me, I thought this would be perfect for a three-tiered tray. So I um, removed the screw from the back of the shovel and I set that aside just in case I decided to use it for something else. I love keeping these little things. And then the spade part of the shovel, I just put to the side as well. You know that I always have to remove our tags. I measured the thickness or width of the um, boxes, and then I took the pole and measured the stick and made the uh, cuts appropriately. You can see here that I went three inches and then the balance of the stick was about nine inches. So I went ahead and went about halfway between each so that it could be a little longer on each side. Taking my little miter saw box that I picked up off of Amazon a while ago, and this is the name of it. Um, I went ahead and cut all of the um, markings that I had, trying to make sure that I had everything even. Now, remember, you want to be one, careful cutting this, and two, um, take your time. I have the video sped up a little bit, so it looks like it's going a lot faster than it is. You just want to make sure that you go slow and steady. I could have taken this outside to the trap saw, but I would have had to um, take it all out and do everything with it there. So here you see, I finally have my three pieces and I took a piece of sandpaper and I made sure that each one of them was leveled down so that we could make sure to try to get this level on the bottom so that we could um, make sure our tiered tray doesn't have much tilt or tilt at all, if at all possible. So I just repeated that step on all ends and then um, made sure that they were level. Now here are my pieces as um, after I had everything cut, I took them outside and spray painted them with several coats of Rust-Oleum's metallic spray paint in the color of silver. And then I'm going to just decor this out with all of the bling wrap that you, if you've watched my channel before, you see we have multiple different types of bling wrap and we're going to use those on all three tiers of this tray. So first I used the mirror bling wrap that I picked up off of Alibaba. And then I came in with a little bit of the rhinestone bling wrap that I have. Um, I believe I picked this up from Alibaba as well, but you can get it off of Amazon or any other place that you would like to. And just used it to bling out my tray. Now I'm a bling girl. You don't have to be a bling girl. If you decide you wanna bling yours a different way, you absolutely can do that but this is the way that I wanted to bling my tray out. And while I'm working and blinging this out, I would just ask that you consider joining our channel by subscribing and clicking that subscribe button. We would like to have you here with us every week if you choose to. On Sundays, I normally do a one o'clock live craft with me, but because today is a special day, Mother's Day, for all those that are watching today, I decided to um, just post up a video so that you can have something for your watching and viewing pleasure when you're not with your family. After I finished blinging out around the edges, I came in with some diamond wrap across the top so that we could make sure that the top had a finished look to it as well. And I just finished blinging that out. Oh, and by the way, we do have a channel membership in our channel membership, it's only $4.99 a month. And there you get to see some behind the scene contents in my day-to-day -day life. Um, I also post a couple of special things. And if there are giveaways, our channel members are always instantly um, qualify for having their name put into the giveaway. Once I was finished blinging it out, I went ahead and... Um, got some felt so that we could put a nice bottom along a nice bottom on it and that way that it doesn't damage any of the tables that we put on it i just cut the felt out two sides and glued it across the bottom of our project And I repeated the steps of decorating on all of my pieces, but here I decided to go with the middle piece with the mirror towels that we have. And I just decorated it all the way around 
doing the same mirror tiles on the side and on the top to make sure that we had a finished top. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you're watching and enjoying this video. I would absolutely love your support to get to 50,000 viewers. So share it with your friends and family who love bling things and just like to come around and have fun crafting. Instead of putting felt on the bottom, I put a um, used a piece of metallic cardstock so that we could have a little bit of bling glow or a little bit of mirror effect on the bottom of it. Um, and I did that on both the second and the um, top tier tray so that they would have metallic on the bottom of them instead of the red felt. And I just continued to bling out our top tray with this type of bling wrap. Once I had that all done, I came in with the um, dowels that I also spray painted and started screwing them into each other. Now you'll see here that I put this screw and put it on top and then I took another screw and screwed it right next to it as close as I could to put it, fit it inside of the dowel. That was uh, what I tried to do in hopes to have the middle dowel both at the top and the bottom to secure the two together. It worked out, but if I were to do this project again, I will figure out a better way to be able to screw it together because it wasn't as level as I wish that it would have been. Once I had all my pieces screwed together and I put the dowel on top to finalize it, this is how my project came out. <laughs> it just makes me smile. You know I decorated with red roses because I love red roses, but you can do whatever you want with it. I also blinged out the dowel off screen, so the top dowel, you can't hardly see it here in the photos, but it is so pretty, absolutely. Um, with the bling wrapped around it at the top as well. I hope you enjoy this video. And until next time, remember, stay classy. We'll see you next Sunday when we go live at one o'clock.